It's not a sight you'd expect to see on a country road in Colbert. The soldiers inside these military rigs aren't here on a mission. Their only assignment is to enjoy themselves in the peace and quiet of this 70-acre horse ranch. It's almost a spiritual place out here, and I think people that come here feel that. Potter's wheels are all ginned up and ready to go. Jill Smith owns this piece of land. She runs it with two other women. They call themselves the Cowgirl Co-op, and once a year they welcome female combat veterans to the ranch for a few days of R&R. &R. A whole weekend of just concentrating on what you need and for you to be able to recharge and for you to get back in the game. It's, it's just been wonderful. Melinda Hurst served 23 years in the Washington Air National Guard. She is one of more than two dozen combat vets who've come here to experience country life. It might be the food, Ciao! or the pottery, burn, burn, burn. Oh. or the horses that get them in the gate, but it is something very different that keeps them coming back. Or in the case of Chris Jones, from staying at all. This Purple Heart recipient planned to leave after only a few hours until the unexpected happened. I found a, an inner peace just talking with different people and finding out that I, I am truly not alone and there are other people out there experiencing the same things that I'm experiencing. For Chris, the weekend was spent coming to terms with an attack that nearly took her life. We were out on mission, I was doing convoy support security and uh, my truck got hit by one of the IEDs. For Jana Archuleta, it was dealing with the struggles of civilian life after 24 years of service. I served in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. It was tough. I went top of the rung to bottom of the rung as a civilian. Each story and each person is so different and yet these total strangers feel connected because of the common thread of military service and hostile times they all share. We've been in different services, we've been in, in different conflicts, we've been had different jobs in the military, but we all have that one common de denominator and that it was we were in the military. When you've served, there is like there's an un unspoken sisterhood there. And a safety these women say they can't find anywhere else. Female vets are a different breed of people and we're trained in a way that just makes you different from your typical civilian female. Surrounded in their daily lives with people they can't always relate to, the retreat gives these vets a chance to fit in, to break out of their isolation. They realize, wow, I'm not alone. There's other women that feel this way. Brenda Thurman is a counselor at the Vet Center in the Spokane Valley. She and others provide therapeutic support during the retreat. That's our vision, to make sure that we reach out to them, that they don't feel alone, that they don't isolate, and that they come together. Thurman credits the Cowgirl Co-op for providing an opportunity for combat vets to connect. These events are wonderful for them. Many, if not all the women here, will find their way to formal counseling, but there is no denying the healing power of this retreat. So coming together, there's a lot of things that don't really have to be said, um, they don't have to be spoken because we understand each other and we're on common ground. A weekend of art and eating, writing and reading. Whether it's getting on the back of a horse that you're terrified of, whether it's managing a potter's wheel, which is going out of control, where it's playing with fire with the raccoon kill. And what we found was when we give people creative challenges that are done in a fun, encouraging, exciting way, they connect and they connect with themselves and with each other and with the earth. Forcing yourself to, to step outside of your bubble a little bit helps you open up. Sometimes the connection comes while petting a horse or simply hanging out. That unspoken communication, that realization that, hey, I get it, is, is priceless. I don't know what I've been told. From the quiet of the ranch, these women warriors end their stay with a night of celebration. Guests of honor at the Armed Forces Torchlight Parade. Waving at the crowds lining the streets of downtown Spokane, it is a chance for some recognition for years of military service. Awesome. A few moments of glory 
and for a weekend at least, peace and solidarity. As they stand side by side with women who've walked the same road. Unless you've been there, unless you've done that, it's not the same. They understand. Today we honor these service women warriors. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.